Hey, welcome back to DIY RV and Home with Greg. Uh, we're fixing to go out camping next week and got some uh, repairs to take care of inside the trailer before we get out of here. And uh, one of the things that uh, we found is that uh, one of the campsites we went to this last weekend a road was really really rough and uh, decided uh, to uh, remove the screws from our microwave uh, bracket that holds it in place so as you can see right here the screws are out uh, we found them so I'm gonna pull the microwave out and see what uh, we can do to uh, get those uh, fixed so she doesn't come bouncing out on us on our next trip I'm going to get the camera set up and uh, get this pulled out and see what we can do. Alright, since the top screws are already out, I'm going to have to take those out. I'll get the bottom ones out. So, let me... Uh, grab you and show you what we're dealing with all right so there's the holes we can see that they're holed out quite a bit Let's see if I can't get you a picture of the back side. Right there. So they have a channel in the wood right there. Looks like possibly for a pocket screw. I'm not exactly sure. I can't see as good as you guys can, if you can. But that's exactly what that feels like. And so there's really nothing there for it to attach to. So, the screw itself barely goes in. So what I'm going to end up doing is probably searching for some bigger screws and coming up with a block on the back side to space it out to allow the screws to go into to tighten up. Um, I kind of think that's just a little bit of poor planning on uh, their behalf. Also, if we look right here, something I noticed is that one of their screws that they use to attach the range hood is uh, bowed up the sheet metal that goes underneath the microwave. So, probably going to fix that too while I'm at it. All right, I'm gonna have to get get some stuff and see how I'm gonna fix this. All right, here I'm back in the trailer. Went ahead and uh, got everything I needed to go ahead and get this fixed. But what I did, I had to run down to the hardware store. Went ahead and picked up um, a couple uh, bolts and screws. So I've got some screws that'll go for the bottom, which I still have. Uh, good uh, material down below plus it'll go into this particle board um, to adhere the bottom and then I got some bolts to go ahead and go through the top and uh, I'm gonna make a bracket or excuse me I made some uh, brackets uh, that I tapped uh, so I can place behind the um, place behind and that's what I'm gonna screw into what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some uh, E6000 on it put a little bit of tape on there to keep it in place while I get them set and then if I ever do need to take them off um, as I cut them off if they do spin they'll still uh, lock up and come off um, but that E6000 ought to keep it in place and then also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of Loctite on it so I'll get you set up get those in place and then we'll get this microwave back in place all right it's been a couple days uh, silicone is dried we're ready to put this microwave back in place. So as you can see, there's that bracket 
put it on that with that silicone so it's not going to go anywhere get the camera all set up bring you back we'll get this put back in place so i went ahead and uh cut that one screw down so it wasn't pressing this up got it pressed down back in place so got that fixed too at the same time so i did use bolts on the top Now that I know that those bolts are uh, going in without uh, being a problem, I'm gonna get some Loctite on it. So, using Loctite on a stick, put a little bit on it. Yep, those tightened up really nice. Now, the lower ones are just uh, regular screws again, because uh, I'm going into that uh, particle board that's yet yeah, right back behind this. All right, so there we go got the microwave put back in a little bit of loctite on those uh, bolts up on top help keep them from backing out i'm pretty sure this thing's gonna survive until the faceplate falls off there it is thank you for watching hope to see you on the next video